Many thanks for staying with us. You're watching Channel One Weekend. The church is calling for further discussion and consensus on the ongoing Building Bridges report to help promote unity and peace in the country. The men of the cloth say there is need to take on board those with divergent views for a more united country. The church is also offering its structures to be used by the Minister of Education when schools resume in January. The church has remained tight-lipped on whether it will support the Building Bridges Constitutional Amendments 2020 proposals or it will oppose it but instead piling pressure for further deliberation saying all is not lost. The National Council of Churches of Kenya and the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops calling on the BBI architects to open a window of amendments in the draft bill to avoid a contested referendum which might polarize the country ahead of the 2022 general election. We restate the importance of dialogue and consensus building. The constitution is too important to be made the subject of conflict and political competition. So there is still room between now and the time we go to the referendum that we can still change or at least add, uh, uh, get intervention administratively to address some of those issues. The church leaders vowing not to allow politicians to use the pulpit to advance divergent views on the report. Desist from according politician space to carry out campaigns for or against the bill in the places of worship. Meanwhile, the Church and Clergy Association of Kenya has questioned the timing of referendum push, saying more efforts should be put to fight the effects of COVID-19 in the country. To sustain this momentum and to remain focused, we must address as a nation the pressing needs such as the doctors and nurses' strikes. To sit down and resolve that issue because it is an emergency and we can't deal with two emergencies, COVID-19, and the medic strike. And a referendum is not an exam. We can't have questions of A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. And that is why we are saying the referendum will either be a yes or a no. Na homa bei wa mesema, yes. As schools gear up to reopen next month, the clergy called on the government to ensure adequate safety measures are put in place to cushion students from contracting the disease and even offer their structures to be used if need be. The Minister of Education can engage religious institutions to avail facilities to be used as classrooms to achieve social distancing requirements. We further call upon the government to consider waiving school fees School fees are rares for parents who have been heavily impacted by the pandemic. Suleimanieri, Channel One News.